Hello, first graders. It's Mrs. Davis here with your writing lesson for today. This week, we are working on personal narrative. Yeah, I get to switch it up this week. All right, friends. So today is Tuesday, February 16th. And welcome to our friends who are joining us virtually. All right. I'd like for you to make sure you have paper and pencil. Got to have those supplies ready, right? Today, we're going to be launching our writing. So we're launching into our new unit and thinking about our writing personal narratives. So first off, what do you think when you see this shape? Hmm, should be some words coming to mind, right? On your piece of paper, I'd like for you to draw this shape and then you can do some drawing or writing. So some of those words that come to mind when you see this shape, what you think of, or maybe who you think of. Draw and write some of the words you thought of, or draw and write some of the people you thought of. If you need some time, you can always pause the video and then restart when you're ready. Ms. Davis is gonna share hers with you. I thought of words like love, friends, kindness, family, students, and caring. Some of the people I thought of, I thought of my son, his name is Reese, and my husband, Mr. Davis. So after you've thought of some of those words and people, I want you to stop and think, when might we need love, kindness, or caring the most? Hmm, probably when things aren't going so well, right? When we're not feeling well, maybe we're sick, maybe we're worried or scared. Those are the times when we really need some extra love in our lives, right? So this week, we're going to be looking at our focus statement. It says special people can help us solve our problems. Special people can help us solve our problems. Hmm, are you thinking of some special people in your life? I hope so. Notice the word problems is in our focus statement. Remember what is a problem? Problem is something in the story that creates trouble for the characters. We can also have problems in our own lives too, right? We can make a connection. What are some problems you have had in your life? Stop and think about a problem you have had in your life. Here are some examples from other friends I've heard from. One time I lost my favorite toy. Oh man, that's no fun, right? My sister and I were fighting over a game. Oh man. I was worried about starting first grade. Oh, that's a problem, right? This week, we're gonna focus on a mentor text, one of my favorites. Oh. If you're not familiar with this story, The Kissing Hand, it's a great one. We'll be looking at it through our writer's eye, noticing some of the author's moves they make in the story. This week, taking a look at The Kissing Hand. The main character in the story will be facing a problem. Hmm. Just from the cover, can you predict who is the main character? Davis gave you a little hint there. And what do you think is the problem they are facing? Hmm. I'd like for you to take your pencil and paper and write your prediction on a piece of paper. Be sure and save it for tomorrow because we'll be talking about it. Here is a sentence starter to help you get started. I predict the character will have a problem. And then you finish that sentence with your prediction. What could that character have as a problem in the story? If you are familiar with the story, see if you can remember what was the problem. 
write down that prediction as a nice complete sentence for us and be sure and save it and hold on to it for tomorrow. All right, my writers, that's all for today. Thank you for joining Miss Davis for the writing lesson, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.